Good evening, race fans. It is getting dark outside, but it is always sunny in Trek. I'm Handsome Lars, and you're here today to watch the TCR Championship from Salzburg Ring, which is a track I've never heard of until last week. So let's just... We're busy people, so let's cut to the chase here. Championship standings, we are four rounds in. And it is, well, surprisingly enough, a British man leading. We're not used to British men leading this championship, but here we are. It's Colin Barker in front of Lucas Fischer, Adam Curian, Al Stupinski, and Nils van de Kirkhild. Kirkhild not attending tonight, but at least Curian is, and I will have to get confirmed that other people are too. So the championship battle is not over at all. Let me just double check something here. Yes, Barker, Kurian, or and and Stopinski. That those are the people we'll be watching tonight for the championship. Now, um, we don't um, embarrassingly, we don't have a track lap this week. Which means I'll have to narrate one once qualifying starts. Which means, um, God forbid, I'll have to do my German pronunciation. Um, I don't think anyone wants me to speak German, but it is what's going to happen. So if I can find the timer. Qualifying should start in... Minutes? A minute? Just one minute, right? Well, while we wait for that, come say hi in the chat. I don't bite. A lot. I bite less than these cars bite. So we'll have to make do with that. Um, and I very courageously see if we can get on a camera here. Um, I have been learning how to use these buttons lately. Hello, Reska. I see you have found me from a certain place. Welcome to track. And I am now, once I get on a proper camera, we will do this from Chase Camera. I will do a guided tour of this track. You come out of the pits into the Emko Shikane. Which, you get, as you can see, has big, nasty tires on the inside. And you step on it down to the Semperit Kurve. Where you will immediately break going into Nockstein Kurve, as it says on the side. And this is the important one. Get on the gas early because half this track is one big straight. Even though Kuren is breaking, but it's, it's his outlap, outlap, so we'll forgive it. He will forgive it. But the whole back straight is a series of curves, very gently curves, a bit of them down. As you can see, the magnificent hillsides are... Uh, um, I actually don't know what province we're in. We're in the Salzkammergut. As he goes past Ostschleife down to the Fahrerlager Kurve. has this lovely camper going on and then into the thing just called the chicane more tires left right left and already there you have the finish line under the red bull logo very short lap gonna be fun let's see what adam curian can do about it and let's see as of cut here. Now I don't know um, the track limits for this track. So that's gonna be fun. It's not a track you usually see in these games. In fact, I can't recall seeing it in any game but this. But obviously Kurian is gonna be setting a fastest lap and it should be... Is it? 
It is not. It is Alexis Jones that's behind Curian. We'll get to him in a moment. As I said earlier, um, three of the guys in the top five of the championship are present today. Curian being one of them. Ostslife, sorry. In, no, that was fine, Lagan. And then to the king. Left, right, left. Step on it. And straight. And let's see, that's a benchmark of 125.8. And Jones with an invalid lap, so let's cut on to. Oh my! I forgot. Salt and Petery. How do I forget him? I, not in the top five in the championship, but I think he's sixth or seventh. I don't have the table on me. Another very fast man, although dangerous. Michael Klein comes in with a 127.3. That is a banker lap. Lipinski with 127.1. He has mostly been running on um, pure consistency this season. Colin Barger, our leader in the gorgeous Leopard, Leopard Alpha. Let's see him. Only green sectors, but he is not known for his qualifying speed. As we see, Peter, he has set a 126.2. And a 126.8 is what Barger comes in on. So let's see Curran again. I'm eating a lot of gravel, but that is to be expected, I think. Okay, I don't think this is valid. I don't think he, he thinks it's valid either. Very well. Alright, let's go on to the home track favorite, Julian Strasser, who is also our head honcho. And this is his home track. He is from this region. Uh, which is why he's very embarrassed to say that he was last in practice today. But a 127-0. That will put him in P4 provisionally. Making his second um, start this season. Oki Oprodovic. A name I've had trouble pronouncing. Is we don't have identical Alfa Romeos like we had last week, uh, but we do have a human tornado. That was Alexis Jones spinning like a madman. And yeah, we do have damage on, and he's already back on grid actually, holding up more or less everyone. I think that was quite a spin actually. Let's go back on with Strasser here. He is on his way to a 126. And a 126.7. Keeping P fourth. But here comes Klein. That is a 126.2, however. Goodbye, P4, already. We have Kurian in the background. We also have a yellow flag somewhere. I think Opadovich had a big one. Now let's see what Peter does. That is a pole position, 125.8. Really hit that last sector perfectly. Now let's see how his um, Hungarian compatriot responds. Right, we're gonna go on board with him, I decided. We are not, because he is going in. Okay. Sure. Not gonna ask. 
4? Can he do anything? As we go to time, he could make a 125 if he doesn't screw this up. One twenty-five eight. This the game, and my timer says one twenty-six one. As we have Julian Strasser and Adam Curran colliding. Oh, you two. Eight people on the track, and we're still hitting each other. Oh well, that is the charm of track. But let's go look at our. Um, I don't have a joke for this, so he's a spinning top now, Alexis Jones. Doesn't have a time yet. But we know he can um, he can be a mid-table guy when he feels like it. Ooh, losing the car a bit here. It does put him in a 129.7. So there's that. Uh, yeah, Kyrian is... That should be his outlap. Oh, and here it comes. Sultan Petery has a purple sector. Obviously, it's gonna be exciting. One, his previous lap was a 125.966. some beautiful angles. Ooh, and it may have cost him. It's, it's invalid, and it's also slower, but oh, those were two real good sectors. And in front of him, Kurian has started his fast lap. It is less than a tenth between them. And we'll cut to him in a moment. No way, we'll have to check. It told. Yeah, okay, Colin Barger with a 125.8. He has snuck in a time while we weren't looking. And immediately, Kurian is actually beating that time as well. Arku, you sneaky sod. So we have three guys on 125.8. See, Vector 2, also purple, car slides a bit, very aggressive handling, how will he take the exit? That is very good, that should be it. No, no it is, it is actually 125.7, ain't been conflicting about it, that is a 125.7. As Alexis Jones has made another spinny move. You know this from up here in Hillham. Uh, yeah. I think Peter e will start his last lap now. Go to the erstwhile bumper cam. One Hungarian in front. Ooh, that's a move, but yeah, it lives, it lives. Nokstein Kurve. Just in time for the back straight. It is... Alpha second down on his fastest... Uh, 
on the fastest sector one. You're feeling in track. The track conditions are perfect. Barely any wind. A bit of sun. All dry. Just like you want it. Now let's see. Find Lager Kurve. Ooh, that, that's an interesting line. I haven't seen anyone do that. He, I mean, he is far from... Um, from beating any times here, but he may have found a new way to deal with the final chicane. Ah, uh, let's see Adam make a shot. With three guys this close on their fastest lap time, we could be in for a good one today. Of course, we have seven guys within one second. Oh, a slight bit of luck. Hey, the next 60 minutes could be amazing. Now, let's see. Time for the Chinese Volvo to step on it. Reminding everyone, of course, that a Link is basically a Volvo manufactured in China. I remind you every week. Got a yellow flag. Strasser is sideways. Toby gets out of the way before Kurian arrives. One purple sector two. Did he lose too much time going around him? Um, Zapinski there. 125.5! That is a new fastest lap. That really just said, hey, I'm here and I'm gonna win today. Maybe. As we have, after all, two races. Race one will have the grid as you see it. And race two will have the race one results in reverse, and it's also a tiny bit longer. So far, no one is setting cooler and better sectors. Here he is. On a hot lap? Probably. I don't know. It doesn't say much. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, real fight going into that corner. I don't know why it's not timing anything. Now it is timing, but we're gonna go to our back marker, Alexis Jones, who is on a personal fastest sector. Which is only... Let's see how, mu how much it is. It is 34. Dead. That is actually only one tenth behind Kyrian. That's only, what? You know what? This could be an excellent sector. An excellent lab, even. Yeah, 127, 26, 7. Still last, but he just carved, over, carved out a whole second. Excellent job. Now, Paul Sitter is trying again. He'll have time for, I think, only two more laps. And hello, Tresione. Welcome to VTEC City. I say VTEC City, there's one car with VTEC, and I'm not even sure it actually has it. But we have all kinds of cars, and here's a here's a Chinese Volvo. Here's a German Volvo. Oh, that's an Audi, sorry. 
I see a Cupra, not called a Coop, just called a Cupra. An Alfa Romeo behind him. An Opal. Oh, yeah, I know. And, and this is my personal favorite, the Hyundai. Don't ask why, but I'm a Hyundai guy. If you are joining us at a great time, trust you, only there is just enough time for two more laps. Adam Curian still in the lead, and I, he should be gearing up for one more shot. But we're actually going to cut Peter because he has a purple sector. Cyan Link is basically the Duke sedan. I don't... F okay. Isn't that a Nissan? I don't know. We can consider those things when it gets boring. But right now, we might have a pole position. Yeah, see, you have to put the two wheels on the outside there. That's it. how, how it works. But I'm being told this is invalid, and well, he, he invalidated it himself. Which is probably fortunate because Kurian is on a... Um, he's on a fast lap. Also, more yellow flags. It is Strasser again. Yeah, Kurian should definitely be the last move here. The last guy on track now. Also, the Link is, um, it might look like an Isn't Duke, but it is a Volvo made in China. And Cyan Performance used to be a Volvo team. It is not gonna matter, Adam Turian is awarded the pole in front of Colin Barker, the championship leader. Solven Petery, Mikhail Klein, Paul Stopinski, Oki Oprodovich, own track favorite and head hunter of this league, Julian Strasser and Alexis Jones. Everyone within two seconds. Oh, it's gonna be good for the race. Let's see, are there any... Yeah, it is basically just Strasser we're waiting to get in here. I will tell him, hey, you should probably just um, return to pits, save me a minute. There we go, he did it. Alright, 60 seconds, we'll get on the grid, and from then, 10 seconds until the race goes pew! Or green, if you want. Yeah, Julian, crew chief says P5. Your, your pace says P7. Yeah, you should be sweating. Now, can we get some cars on the grid, please? There we go. And I can't switch because that is race room in a nutshell. Everyone should make it on time. Can I please? There we go. Forgive the Gran Turismo style cameras, but that is what it's um, offering me today. There we go, Adam Turin is leading out Colin Barger and Solomon Piri as we go into the Mko Shikane, a lap 1 out of 14. I can't see what's happening, here we go. Everyone alive. More or less. More or less. Climb making those moves. That is very good. Bit of a choo choo train coming down as I drop a few frames. And Julian Strasser is last. And this is his uh, home track, as I said. Okay, come on, camera. Adam Turin still leading, and Sultan Petery is now on the attack. 
going into Oschleife and then Freienlager Kurven. And yes, I'm gonna say it because I have been practicing my German. Let's see, Stepinski is looking at climb. That's gonna happen. And yes, Trash, you know, there's always someone who picks the funny number out there. Okay, Strasser has made it past Jones again. So, lap one. Adam Curian, Colin Barker, Salton Petery, Michael Klein, Pavel Stopinski, Oki Opodovic, Julian Strasser, and Alexis Jones. And top three had very good times. I mean, basically, all of sub six had very good times. Parker making a wide entry here. Gonna go into bumper camp. It is still perfect weather. And I thought he does not have it. Instead, let's go again to this camera. Eerie does have the slipstream now. He has a lot of it. I mean, that Audi be thick. Line doesn't stick. Over the ridge. On the attack. No, it slides, it slides, but it's alive, it's alive. Oh! <laughs> Both people just sliding through that corner. But apparently, they make it a lot. They're both alive. Where is Jones? He has lost time, but not that much. Okay. That was two laps. The four has more or less settled into a train. We're we gonna go about it. Back down. Pavel is gonna make a counter attack. Or an attack, depending on how you see it. Stressor is finally um, waking up and is gonna attack at some point. Big one, if you didn't see my little uh, track lap here, uh, the back straight is basically half the track. Which is why this is important. He has the slipstream and he. Yeah, he's passed, but he's gonna keep it into the Ostschleife. Oh, but Orich has the inner line. There was a touch. Bokey. It is basically just last lap over again. But reverse. <laughs> well, I mean, there was a touch, but it is defended. This is not open wheel racing. We will tolerate a bomb. Up three, unchanged. Gurian, Barger, Petery, and then Klein chasing them. We'll cut to them if something happens. But right now it is the Battle of the Balkans. Or Battle of the Slavs. Doki comes up poorly. Ooh, 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 almost takes the defensive line. Side by side again, but this time there's an Austrian behind them. Thank you for the follow, XXX Jack. 1975 XXX. What a name. Let's see, side by side, once more. Slide out of complication, dearest, this time. The car slips and Pavel is in the wall. Big F. There we get an F in chat actually. That would be an excellent time. That car just lost all grip. And that puts Boki back up in fifth and Julian Strasser in sixth. Let's cut back up here. It is 
form is unchanged, but Petery is catching up to Barker. Those two have been pestering each other for podium positions for, I think, four months at this point. I'll just take a moment to see if the bot works. The bot does not work. But if it worked, I would show you a Discord link now. If you want to go annoy us. But I think we'll have to wait with that until we've seen the next crash. Ten laps to go? Nine laps to go? Don't sass me, Tresioni. It's just Discord. Let's see. Strasser has some kind of slipstream. Oh, we catch you some insight there, and that loses some time. It's not gonna work. Oh, we can finally focus on actually attacking. Can we see damage on Stopinski's car? Not apparent. Not apparent. I. That would be lap or oh, oh, five. There we go. As I love fetch the Discord link and hope nothing happens while I'm here. I'll do. Please don't have an incident while I'm looking away. If I post the wrong one, I'm gonna get shot. Ah, right, you know what? Temporary link. That'll do. He has nice invisible uh, Discord link, sorry. There we go, Discord! Where all the cool kids hang. As we stay on Petery here, still chasing Barker. And Barker, who seems, I wouldn't say content with letting Korean get away, but not worried, as they both take massive lines. Line. In no man's land. He has... Can't keep up with the guys in front of him. He's too good. To be caught. Now, apparently, Stepinski should have a lot of damage because... Alexis Jones is keeping up with him. I think, um... I think he took a big one. Did it slipstream? Did it camera work, please? Bit of gravel. Peter should be able to catch up. The Audi does not have the highest top speed. In fact, the Barker has lost a second Korean. In fact, he's losing tens now to Peter. Kofu Nord. Nord. How do you pronounce it? Nockstein, cool. Kere. There we go. Now he's out the gaps. Last time they were here. Oh, don't take the outside line. 
He's gonna take that out of the lamp and he's gonna force Parker in the inside. Ow, oh, yeah, they're touching, they're touching. But Peter, we does sneak past. And ooh, four wheel drift. It's alive, it's alive. He's past him. Peter, he is past. It is Hungarian 1 2. I'll do nicely. Uh, gotta wait a moment here. Alexis Jones has been threatening. Al Stepinski. Not to no avail just yet, but we'll keep an eye out. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, is I was gonna say third time's a charm. It isn't. Um, is third attack gonna matter? Parker is a consistent guy, he's not an offensive guy. Okay, he has some slipstream now. He's not gonna have enough. No thing he's gonna have enough. No, no, the door is closed. The door shall remain closed. We are over halfway, and Kurian has a five second lead now. More than just racing for a race win, Parker is leading the championship, and Kurian is third. Though it did, Parker would very much like to finish P2. An opportunity presents itself this time. The rest of the pack has settled in though, so this is the only action. Much that fluctuates. Parker goes deep into that one. Okay. Three ish laps to go. Yeah, three ish left to go. It is still Kyrian, Petery, Parker, Some Daylight, Mikkel Klein, Okio Pedoric, Julian Strasser, Hal Stupinski, and Alexis Jones, and there goes Parker, and that should be the end of that challenge. Got too aggressive, and it didn't pay off. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll have some time to look at the race leader. And I'm Kurian. That should... Well, I mean, there's still some position to be thought about, I guess. But it ain't happening just yet, but we'll cut down to Klein, Obedovich, and Strasser if they get a teeny bit closer. Just sending some texts. There we go. That's called multitasking. Two laps to go. I know it says free, but... No, that, that actually does mean free. 
it is a bit weird this game. It does weird stuff. And should someone tell Purian that he is leading? Going aggressive. Now Miguel Klein. Um, not much to be said. He has been minding his own business. Now people are coming up from behind to, to um, have a debate about that. It is the Battle of the Alphas. It's a battle, but I mean, it may become a battle. In due time. In due time. But remember, race 2 is going to be, I think, 17 laps. And we're going to take these results and reverse them to form the grid. We're going to have to go through all these shenanigans once more. Two laps to go. We got a yellow flag. Yep, Jones has bend it. Jones has bend it. He was actually having a really good clean race. Until that. Lipinski will enjoy the peace and quiet now. The one man who is completely in his zone, alone in the wilderness, and I'm carrying. Almost eight seconds down, over seven at least. This was his race to lose. He got clean track and he used it. Oh, let's give him a victory parade. In fact, let me change the camera to something more appropriate. I do believe there was an onboard cam. I don't know where though. Now I'm gonna hit every button until I find the right one. Yeah, you know what, we'll stick with that. Give him a bit of a victory lap. Weirdly enough, not all cars seem to have a spectator cam for cockpits, which is weird. That's the Orschleifer coming up. Would be a terrible time to slide now, wouldn't it? And then into uh, what the call again? Fahrer Lagerkurve. Not Fahren. And into the final chicane. For a very decided victory. And I'm Kurian. Links and swerves a bit, and well, he's gonna swerve at some point, I think. He is a winner. Solven Piri coming in second. Colin Barger third. Michael Klein is gonna be defending against Boki on the final straight. It will not matter though. Klein fourth, Opadovich fifth, Julian Strasser sixth. Um, Sliding Stopinski, 7th. And Alexis Rowell Jones will be making up the rear at E8. Eventually, at least. So that was race 1.
just double check some things before we go on with them. Um, final enter, yeah, and Adam Turin with this ass's lap. Which was actually considerably faster than his um, qualifying time. Everyone pulling in at least a 126, 126.5. Very good. Very good. Now we're gonna have to go to all song and dance where it throws me out the server into a chain session. So now is a great time if anyone has any questions. It, yes, Alexis, those tires are very hard. And I don't recommend hitting them. Would you hit them again, given the chance? Probably wouldn't, but let's play along. You would rather not hit them. No kidding. But still, you had some um, good speed in your car, so it's good. Yes, can I have it? Can we have it? Yes, it's logging in. We gotta have a race too. In a moment, at least. And we just need people to get on the grid, and they're coming, and it's loading, and all that fancy stuff. It's gonna be Alexis Jones on pole position this time, and Julian Strasser is in the chat when he shouldn't be. What is the worst that could happen? Lights are on, and lights are... And I have a hiccup. Lights are off. Round two. I raced two. Off this round. That was the wrong button. We are free wide, and Stopinski just takes the lead. There are many wide. There's some touching. There's some love. Here he gets a lot of love. Almost gets a tire too. Let's see, that is one alpha, and here comes Parker on the inside. People do not like Petery today, I think. And Curran has yet to make any pace as we go up the long back straight. Which isn't straight, but it it's long. Also, 18 laps. There we go. Now, who is going to have a big mishap into the two right-handers? goes and was not a oh and there goes Strasser as well as I can't even keep up Strasser just goes nope I didn't see what happened but that's what you get for being in the chat the two people from the race who has been in the chat has also crashed and Curran has made it past past Colin Barker as the race leader is surprisingly enough Boke Opadovic I think Slipinski and Strasser hit each other because Lipinski has lost a lot of time. There we go. Opadoric, Klein, Eatery, Durian, Barker, Lipinski, Jones, Strasser. 17 laps to go. on the front here. We actually, we have many attacks, but only one set of eyes. Klein wants to slingshot. Oh, Klein goes to the outside. Oh, that's a dangerous move. Oh, 
when Kurian is almost on the gravel, actually. The client is passed, and Bogey slingshots him. And we got another yellow flag. It is... It's... It's... It's them Jones again. There we go. And here's an... And brief, it is the Alphas hitting each other. And Peter hitting him. I... Cannot keep up. Uh, where's Cam? There we go. I f Oh, yeah. Oh, but our hitch is leading. There we go. And Kurian gives a big shove to Klein. Parker is still sitting there, still waiting. Side by side. Oh, and a slingshot. Is it gonna happen? He definitely has something here. Unfortunately, everyone has him. It is a five-man train. Very dangerous corner. I mean, you come basically, you come in on a four-wheel drift into it. Parker is looking up the inside. Everyone is looking up the inside. No one is going though. There we go. That is gonna be our. Third lab, no, fourth lab actually. Alpadorich, Petery, Klein, Kurian, Barker, and other people. Whoa, a bit of a slide, and also Kurian jumping from behind. Okay, Alpadorich's current role is being a log in the bottle. Oh, and Kurin is passed, but Peter almost gets shoved, and I think they're touching again. But Klein is now dropping positions. Like, I don't have, I don't know, people dropping Twitter, I guess. I don't have a metaphor for this. Camera slightly. Obadorich sure enjoys having all that room to move on. So, still five tight as we finish yet another lap. Order's been shoveled a bit. Opadorich, Peter Reed, Kurian, Klein, Barker. Oh, and there's a the gravel, there's a the gravel. Opadorich on the gravel, on everything. Kurian is past, Kurian's leading now, that's impressive. Peter Reed lost a lot there. And Stepinski comes up not to get involved. Oh my, that didn't look good. Definitely didn't look good, but it's climbed up to second, Barker is up P3. And then I only saw what happened to Opadorich. I think Peter was simply caught up behind him. It is unfortunate, but it is what happens in a chicane. Three guys fighting for P4. That's far and Stopinski does it again. Stopinski does it again. You can recover from one accident in one race, but you can't recover from two in one. Back up with the leader. <gasps> Sorry. Back up with the leaders. It is Kieran Klein Barker. Barker is finally in a position to make a move. He chooses to do so going into the MCO Chicane. I think it's a dangerous place. 
I've been told that you shouldn't hit the orange tires. They're very big. Mine. Mine definitely has a slipstream now. Can he use it? In the uh, funny number Alfa Romeo. Oh yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. Ah, whoa, that's a bit of gravel. That's a bit of gravel. Oh, and there Barker. That was actually unprovoked. Barker simply going sideways off the track here. Not a touch. Barker simply went too fast in and he got out in the gravel. What a dangerous corner. And Kurian is once more just running away because everyone is killing each other. Or in Barger's case, killing themselves. Right, now let's see, we got a bit of a sandwich coming here. And by sandwich, I mean he's no longer a sandwich because Peter is attacking. And getting past. Now careful Klein, you're leaving the door open and too late. Parker is through. No, oh no, he's not apparently. There was slight luck. Robert Dorch has yet to actually give up. Coming into the uh, most fun corner again. I mean, Klein really cut some aggressive lines there. I really think he has two cars on, and I think he just did a bump and run, Petery. I, yeah, I'm not sure, but I definitely think he actually, he may have hit Petery in the butt and sent him off track. And Barger capitalizes on it and goes past Klein. Klein, who has a massive hole in his front of his car now. Let's see if we can get some pictures of it. But that nose has been pressed in. Proper pressed in. Like, that wasn't a light touch to Petery. That was a full blown sledgehammer. Let's see. Yeah, that, that car is not supposed to have that shape. That's not an Alpha, that is a boxer with a broken nose. Uh, he's still trying though, but definitely hit Petery. And now there's Revel. Why is there Revel? I think Kurian made a mistake, actually. A rare mistake. Because he's just lost like two seconds. But we certainly have fun here. My god, Klein's gonna try again. It's gonna be interesting to see if there's gonna be any, I don't know if any stewards or anyone is going to make any decisions about that. Because while it wasn't a deliberate hit, it was a definite hit. And um, while Klein's car is not aerodynamic now, it certainly is shorter now, which which is good for for attacking. Obviously. Elsewhere on the track, Peter and Strasser are hitting each other. I think Peter is angry. Hell, I'd be angry. Now let's see. Short nose and long nose are attacking again. And hey, my god. Kirian is not actually um, running away now. We got four cars with a shot of winning. And quite some distance down to Stupinski. As we are more or less in the halfway mark. Klein may have the drift and the um, 
the stream. But I similar figure the car is too broken. Ugh, sorry, I keep yawning. The car is simply too broken to attack. Also, I only yawn while streaming. Bad habit, I think. Not climbing on the offense. Dorch is just waiting for someone to have a big incident. As we see Peary and Strasser in the background. But let's not forget Kyrian. Sure, he's only two seconds ahead, but at the same time, it is only two seconds. Will the story repeat? Ah, slipstream. Arger has the inside. And the rear they, they appears really slight going into that corner. Okay, it's a slingshot. And a touch. I think he's passed, but... I think he definitely touched Barker there. In any case, climbs up to P2. All he has to do is catch a very fast man in a car that's not broken. That's difficult. Then it's Barker, P3, and Oppidorch, E4. <laughs> no client's car is broken. It's the tires. Stops up and then Barker shifts up and hits him. And I think it would arch hit him too, actually. Oh boy, that goes on the highlight reel. Oh boy, what an incident. Those orange tires are very hard. And Kirin just goes, huh? Ah, uh, let's see over Torch and now he has a car that works. Oh, it's not gonna work. Klein is tagging too. Oh, sorry, it's the Pinsky actually. Pinsky was ahead all all along. Okay. But that's not the point, because it's back to Bo Kimbarger. Obviously, one, only one of them have the advantage of a car that's not broken. Oh god, there's six laps to go. Not a yellow flag. I think Alexis Jones went up road again. As we just see Klein pitting. I wonder why. Klein is pitting in the background. Actually, let's go look up Klein. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder why he's pitting. Oh, let's go. There's... I think there's Love Tap. Love Tap. It is Serbia versus Scotland, if I remember correctly. Parker going very defensive and very uh, rally. Oh, Boki oh no, oh no. Oh, he saved it, he saved it. That almost ended it in tears. And Paul Stopinski, who has had two incidents, and I said, can't recover from two incidents, could have gotten a podium there. And you might still get it after all. Adam Curian just leading. Oh, look, 
looks up the inside, is nothing. Same mistake. Don't do it, Bogey. Don't take the outside line. And he's gonna do it. Oh, 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 oh! Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Wasn't beautiful. Yeah, that was a true deja vu moment, ass. And so, uh, but oh, it goes into the gravel again. You just know that guy has been in that place before. Doesn't change the standings, but it just changed the gaps. The Pinsky now actually has a shot at the podium again. Let's just reiterate: it is Adam Curian leading Alexis Jones in the gravel for the. Umpteenth time in last. Colin Barker in second. Ah, oh, but Origin third. Lipinski P4. Sultan Petery. Unluckily P5. Julian Strasser P6. And Michael Klein DNF. There we go. Five laps to go. Just gonna stay here with Curian for a moment. It is customary to actually show the race leader once in a while. And while we are at it, it's going to advertise here next week. It is Silverstone, and the week after that, or at the same time, Imola. Everyone, welcome to join. Even if they have a relaxed relationship to gravel. Ooh, Stopinski! That's diff- I think he hit Bogey or something. And my displays is lighting up. He has taken massive damage. Like, yeah, race ending damage, I think. I'm sorry we didn't see what happened, but I think it was a solo incident. Because nothing happened to Bogey. Let's see, is it a DNF? Yes, it's a DNF. Two dead cars, and Alexis Jones is in the pits too. How did this track kill so many people? I mean, I, I suspect some of them is, is the tires, but... Well, some of them is just people going awfully bold. Kurian has been in the gravel. Yes, Alex. We see you, buddy. We see you. Hey, Julian. Why are you here? You're supposed to be racing. How can you be chatting while I'm looking at you driving a car? Huh. That is not good. That is not a good thing to contemplate, I think. Nonetheless, that leaves us with only five runners. And they're... They have a lot of space. Put it mildly. Durian has 10 seconds to Barker, who has almost 3 seconds to Opadoric. 7 seconds to Petery. 5 seconds to Strasser. And that's roughly where it ends. So it is gonna be a parade going home. Don't be dumb, don't crash. And don't drink Red Bull, I suppose.
backstretch long enough to type whole sentences. That is true. That's a very long backstretch. Backstretch, I suppose, is a better word. Few laps to go. Few laps to go. I'm just gonna turn off the desktop audio and shut up. this back down. I'm Jurian. It's gonna make it two for two today. Coming up on the final straight for the final time. Hopefully. Oh yeah, there it is. I don't think he realized, and I didn't realize either until the flag was up. And I'm Jurian, two for two. Colin Barker, second and third today. Aradorich, really making some good uh, ground based on all the mistakes of everyone else. Solven Petery with another unlucky uh, weekend, basically. And another repair job for the Krupa guys, even. Bass's lab is Adam Curian once more. D5 was Julian Strasser. And the DNFs are Stepinski, Jones, and Klein. And as for Klein, we'll see if he gets any con he has any consequences to hit everyone. My game now says, hey, let's go look at this play. I'm gonna take this time here to put my very handsome face on because I am handsome Lars after all. This has been another week of TCR Championship over at Track. I'm gonna post a Discord link, a new Discord link, just once more, if you want to join. It is Silverstone and Imola, and as you can see, we have the head hunter of the league in the chat. You know, on the backstretch. And but until then, I have been Handsome Lars, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.